Hi all. Welcome to another video of Hidden Crypto Gems. In this video, I am going to talk about the NFT game, The Kill Box. As I mentioned in the last video of Place War, November will be a spending money month. With Facebook changing its name to Meta, it created a massive demand for crypto games. So I think the IDO or IEO for NFT games with play to earn features will be very successful. I think the IDO prices will be very high, and I think that I will apply my dollar averaging cost method for investing in these IDO of NFT games. You can follow me on Twitter FBAN84 if you want to know when I invest in these tokens and for which prices. Now you might be wondering why I'm going to invest in the kill box. The reason is simple. They already have 1.6 to 5 million active monthly players. For those who are new to my channel, I make videos about decentralized finance, NFT gaming, and other crypto projects. If you like this, then hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for updates. You can also follow me on Twitter FBAN84, where I share a crypto project's trades and investment prices. You get to see when I buy or sell. You can also join my Discord group, where I share exciting articles and news about cryptos. You will also find new crypto projects there that have some good potentials. Links to my social are in the description. May I remind you, I am not a professional financial advisor. I am just a simple guy who shares his thoughts about cryptos and investments. So if you are going to invest, then you need to do your own research properly before investing. With that being said, let us get into the Kill Box game. The Kill Box game is a first-person shooting mobile game. Kill Box game was launched in 2017. So the game has been around for four years. And in those years, four years, the game has been downloaded more than 100 million times. I am excited about this development. This is the first mobile game studio I know of that takes its game into the NFT gaming space. What I found interesting is that Killbox is a free game to play with in-game purchases. It is a typical mobile game that falls into the category of pay to win as you can buy better weapons in the game instead of collecting those weapons. So far, they have collected over 300 million renminbi in revenue which is around 4 to 6.8 million US dollars. With the experience of getting players to make in-game purchases, they have an advance in the NFT gaming space. Now let's take a look at their players' base. So far, they have over 100 million downloads. And of those 100 million downloads, they have around 1.65 million active players each month. From the info I have gotten so far, their biggest players' base is in China, Vietnam, the Middle East, and Turkey. I think Killbox isn't so bave in Western countries because it resembles too much with Counter-Strike and Call of Duty. If you look at Axie Infinity monthly average players, it just passed the monthly 2 million active players in October. And look at the current price of Axie. Axie's current price is 155 US dollar at the time of making this video. So Axie Infinity market cap is at the moment 10 billion USD. This is one of the reasons why I think Killbox can become a massive success. I hope you like this video so far. If you do, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. The action-packed first-person shooter, FPS, allows gamers to assemble elite squads and trade in-game NFT weapons like AK-47s, grenades, and swords. So how does this game work? When you start the game, you will have two options. The first option is to play the game with the free weapons that you will get. Or you can start with buying the kill box tokens and upgrading your weapons directly. This way, you will have a better chance of winning battles and getting excellent rewards. With those rewards, you can increase your strength or you can sell it for money. With the kill box tokens, you can do many things. For example, you can buy an armory with the TKB tokens. You can also upgrade your armory with the TKB. And you can earn TKB tokens by leasing out your armory. You will need the tokens to repair your equipment and equipment synthesis in the kill box game. When you trade items in the game, you will also need the TKB. The same applies to buying or selling land in the game. One important thing to know is that you will also need TKB tokens to open a chest. And when you are synthesizing your weapons, it is best to pledge some TKB tokens, as this will increase your chances of getting unique weapons. So the more TKB tokens you hodl, the better chances of getting an excellent NFT weaponry. You can either sell this NFT weapon for a lot of money, or keep it to win more battles with prizes. As you can see, you can do many things with the TKB tokens. When you hollow your TKB, you can also get to earn dividends from them. In fact, the Killbox is the first FPS game on the market, helping bridge the exciting gameplay of traditional FPS games with the potential of blockchain technology. 
I like this very much as the Killbox team is putting good incentives for players to hodl TKB tokens. The Killbox will include weekly challenges, ranking matches, and a lottery system to distribute crypto prizes. The experience itself will be immersive, with VR capabilities and a 306-degree arena combat experience. As with many other projects on this list, the Killbox will also offer different rewards and play-to-earn features. For fans of more action-filled games, the Killbox is a no-brainer. The token distribution looks good to me in general. However, I prefer that the play-to-earn section had a share of 50% of the total tokens. Let's talk about the team briefly. The CEO of the Killbox game is a fantastic dude. He knows how to make money with gaming. His name is Don Zhu. He has been in the gaming industry for over 20 years now. During the high days of World of Warcraft, Don Zhu created a gold farming company. He had more than 500 workers playing World of Warcraft to farm gold and items for World of Warcraft players. His studio was one of the biggest gold farming companies in China. Don Zhu and his core team have a lot of experience in the gaming industry. Based on their track record, I have confidence in the team. But past results don't guarantee future success. In conclusion, I will be buying these tokens at launch or the days after. But I will not go all in. I am going to dollar average this NFT game as well. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. If you then give this video a thumbs up and comment about it. By doing this, you will help me a lot. YouTube will promote my videos more. And in return, I will be able to make more videos. Before I forget, you can already test their beta game if you have a phone that runs the Android system. Just go to their website for download instructions. I will leave the link in the description. Try it out and let me know what you think off the beta game in the comments. For more info about the Killbox game, you could go to their website or Telegram. I put their links in the description. This was my take on the Killbox game. I hope you liked it. If you do, then give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And subscribe to my channel for more updates on Killbox. You can follow me on Twitter FBAN804 for my crypto trades and updates. And you can also join my Discord group, where I share interesting articles and info about crypto projects. If you have any questions or remarks, let me know in the comments. I will be answering them all. For now, I wish you a great day and see you on my next video.